immediately set up in a lateral sort of line across the pitch. And immediately there will be a foul call uncontested on the mark. Asada with the disc. These two nations have a bit of a chippy history, Rahel, which you maybe touch on later in the tournament. Here is a big pull straight away off of the first pass. Will it go all the way into the end zone? First potential break chance by the Japanese. Again, go backwards. Intercepted by the Colombians. They reset it. To Cardenas. Hammer doesn't take it. Resets. Is the other Cardenas with it. Good chance for the Colombians to break. They quickly move. The Colombians knocking on the doorstep. Four. Cardenas makes sure it goes to the ground. Another A goes through the break site. Cardenas. Doesn't get the upline. Handling space. Annoying on the mark. Oh, and here's the jump in score for Colombia and an imprint on their Jets. Or just errorless Colombians. And good pressure on that catch. Japanese forcing a lot of passes. The evenly matched teams makes for exciting Japanese. Goes backwards. Re-receives. This has a lot more height. We saw Muscare even peeling off the back there. She might. Oh, great read. Now Ramirez on the sideline goes to fourth. Did few passes away from the end zone, but that is a game. I wonder if the movement of the Colombian adaptation of the hex offense. He to get much yards yet. Looking very comfortable. Well to transition onto defense here. Not allowing the Colombian D-line to get much yards yet. Looking very comfortable this. And there's a deep shot. Miss pass there. I liked it. From the French. Connecting right now. He's going to stay in that position after this one. If the French... A rifle shot to the end zone. Released quite high and beautifully caught in the end by the Colombians. That's more like it. Where she plays with her family. So Colombia will be hungry for a break to level us and put us back on serve at the moment. In front. Lovely nice fakes. What is in the center uh, on the match D and it finally worked. Duque. It's forward even. Ball to the far side. Doesn't have much in the way of movement. That one just doesn't count back inbounds. Timeout from Colombia called. They have a little laugh as Juliette. Can you see the man there on the force as the Colombians? Her, as Ford has the momentum at the far. Well, at the moment, it is advantage Colombia. Pretty much all tournament. So Domin out here in pool B. Is it more? It's going to be redemption for Ford. Yes, it is after the overthrow for Torres. So close to close. Oh. On the sideline to Simon Ramirez. For Cardenas. Ford. Ford. Cardenas. To Ford. The USA is uh, stifling their forward options at the moment. There's a big. Gets it back to Ford. Nearly there. And Cantor pops it into the end zone. Ford collects for. Col of players. Well, the Colombian offense needs downfield. Ford. Back to Ford. Cartagena continues, and the Colombians have it ahead. No confusion as Cantor gets it. Now back to Cartagena. Simon de Ramir. Ford. 
immediately. We had another uh, pick call. The game really hasn't flowed as well as we hoped it would. And downfield, we see a youngest to oldest matchup, Torres and Trope, will battle it out on the fields of Birmingham, Alabama. Players calling in for an interpreter of the rules anyway. Seems all cleared out. Ford. Quick pop to Ford. Cartagena available. Ekstroth trying to take away. A bit worried about Colombia again, getting them cuts into the same space with two people. He goes, a high grab, oh, second time of asking. It's Ford in the end zone, rescuing the tip. Vogel with the first error for the Germans. Oh, lovely snag out of the air. Just make sure does Remira flying. Ford bounces off his chest. Ford, for the column is working so hard, but the pocket is found in the far left corner. His flicks, I like. Higher one to Ford. 